Nice little disturbance right there. Thought about concentrating on these. Oh, there's a thump. There we go. Yep, that is a nice one. Oh, oh my gosh, that is a really nice one. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of MDLR Fishing. For those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. What we do here is a lot of inshore fishing on the upper Texas Gulf Coast. And today we're starting out with quite a few blow-ups. I saw my son posted up right here along this bulkhead and uh, you can clearly see that the birds are working right off to your right hand side and uh, blow-ups against this. So what we're gonna start off with is an old 18 buoyancy rod. This is a medium light power with a, uh, I think it's a fast action tip. Um, let's see, yeah, I'd have to check. But anyhow, that's besides the point. We've got a Luz Pro SP spooled with 20 pound braid, a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, and a Bugs Trout Thumper. This is a new one right here. So we're gonna see how it's gonna perform out here. Let's get started. There we are. That's a good flounder right there, y'all. Oh my gosh, that is a big flounder. Right along the grass where they're supposed to be in some soft mud and oyster mix. There we go, look at this fatty. Holy moly, that is a big one. Everybody's gotta get out of jail free card today because we're, uh, prepping for a vacation and uh, I don't want to go home and have to do this so we're just trying to stock up on footage but look at this guy that is a beautiful flounder on the brand new color too hey hey settle down big brown look at that that is a gorgeous flounder right there Whew, that's the uh, croaker color and it's a one eighth ounce. It's the new trout thumper. Oh man, that is, we're gonna get a photo and then put this guy back inside the water. Yeah, he was, he was not gonna get off, but there it is. Look at that golden croaker. This guy thought he was gonna eat something good. We'll see you later, friend. Hold on, hold on. Hey, let, let it go. Now we'll see you later. <laughs> Yeah, this area is known for harboring really big flounder. And it's only fitting to get them on something that actually swims. They love minnows, like minnow imitations, uh, croaker, mullet. Yeah, they'll uh, definitely chase after both of those. And they're not too bashful about hitting a shrimp as well. Dang it. Woo. Yeah, that's two flounder that I've jerked it out of their mouth. There's his little mud cloud right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to resist the urge to set it immediately because I'm using a bigger lure. I've got to let them reposition. A redfish is just going to haul butt. A trout is going to immediately like start shaking his head well that's when you set the hook anyhow i'm uh i've got to resist the urge to immediately set that hook because of the size of the lure that i'm using all right we're gonna shift gears now y'all and go with another like specialized marsh lure these guys in my opinion were specifically designed 
to get fish in to get fish in this type of a like setting to bite. You got soft mud, these lures, they do it all. They attract them, they get them to bite, and we're gonna go with this for a little while. And then whenever I need something that's actually gonna be a swimming like minnow imitation, then we'll go back to that. But I can work this lure a lot slower barely moving it along that soft muddy bottom stirring some of the top layer up it'll get the fish's attention and it's called a uh, curl tail redfish jig it's the second generation black and gold is always a money color especially whenever the water is chocolatey definitely give one of these a shot if you're going to fish inshore marsh style setting you can catch stuff out there in the uh, the bay, like at drains where ditches go in to feed a marsh system, but they are super specialized for the marsh. So many fish attracting features. Oh, there's a thump. I'm, I'm waiting. I don't feel any repositioning, so he may have the whole thing in his mouth. Yep, he had it. <laughs> Another gorgeous looking flounder. That is two keepers on the day. This is gourmet right here. Gourmet fish for the kitchen but it's not your time buddy it is just not your time to go so we're gonna let you go oh wow let's hit spot lock i don't want to go any further oh crushed it let's get our lure back sorry there we go come on just let it go let it go let it go there we are boy they got that sharp old teeth there we go. Look at that. The curl tail. We'll see you later. Whew. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Beautiful, gorgeous fall day. And uh, the fish have just come to life. Oh, you can't ask for anything better. The, uh, like the tough days that you come out here and you fish... You take what Mother Nature will give you, and then eventually, soon enough, you're going to be greeted with something that's just spectacular, and uh, it just feels so good being able to get on the fish again. There's the thump! Nice red. God, this guy is fighting really hard. Get out from there, bro. I can't believe he fought that hard. Holy moly, this dude really. He's like fighting like his life depended on it. There. Oh, you're already done. Look at that tail. So nice and blue. No, it's okay. There we go. We'll see you later, guy. See you later. All right. I think we're going to put this guy away and go back to our croaker lure. I want to imitate something that swims like a minnow and this guy is gonna do it for us so let's see if we can get him back into some action right along these grass lines that we got right here the bait i've been watching slowly pushing along and so we'll keep this fella in motion and see what we can do
the San Bernard grocery. Oh, I got him. He's swimming with it right now. I saw him blow up. Whoa, dude. Like I literally saw him blow up and he's just like swimming with it. Oh, <laughs> he popped right off. We'll see you later, little homeboy. Right there. And the croaker lure does it again right there, y'all. Nice, not bad. Nice little disturbance right there. And right where we can see it, too. I don't know how deep it is. Thought about concentrating on these. Oh, there's a thump. Yeah, he's got it. He's coming at me. There we go. Yep, that is a nice one. I saw, oh my gosh, that is a really nice one. I saw that nice disturbance that he made. If Christian is keeping a flounder, I'm going to keep this guy right here because holy cow, y'all. This is big. Oh, gosh. This guy. Huh? You want a measure board? Yeah. Holy moat. I saw I saw a big old like swell, a boil. And this guy just he didn't he did not thump it. He picked it up and I saw my lure swimming. That's weird. So that just kind of proves my theory wrong. Here, I'm gonna let's get out away from the bulkhead. This croaker lure just crushed it today for you me, have though. A croaker lure? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who makes it? Bugs. Oh, nice. Dang, that guy is a little. Should take a picture of that dang thing. Yeah, he's a he's a big old massive flounder. I mean, look at that, son. Here, let me take a picture. Of you. Do me a, a uh, landscape one too. Uh, I don't have mine because I didn't plan on keeping nothing, but since you're keeping one and we're going to stop and buy a, a throwaway ice chest. How are you going to cook yours? Uh, I'm just going to fillet him and put him inside the uh, freezer bag. Oh, okay. Boy, this croaker lure. Look at that. He wanted it bad, too. Grass line over here. And I was thinking since they pumped all that mud right over there from the dredging operation, mm. I mean, I've caught flounder, but I haven't caught the big ones like this that I've caught in this area. And I was thinking like right there in the pilings that there should be something there. And right when I was thinking that, I saw the big old boil that it made underneath the water. Which one's his belly? Why is his belly so Oh. That's just the way they are. That's why people love them. They're easy to fillet. They have four fillets at that. Two on the top, two on the bottom. And their majority just nothing but meat. There's really no guts to them. For watching everyone I truly appreciate the love and support that you have shown me throughout the years for those of you that are new to the channel thank you so much for watching the content that I am producing if you enjoy it don't forget to click that thumbs up button also for those of you that find yourselves consistently coming back to watch more and you want to help to support the work that I am doing all you got to do is click that subscribe button also ring the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any of the future episodes that I create YouTube will notify you 
by way of email or through the app that they have on mobile. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, tight lines, everyone. One more night, one more day, juggle.